The next presentation is from Panorama representative, Mr. Kirichenko. They are the ones uh, who provide mapping for city uh, development. I am Alexander Kirichenko. It gives me great pleasure to speak before you today. I represent the Russian company Panorama. Its main focus is to create and implement a geoinformation system. We develop both mass market or mass scale products and uh, customized products. Uh, our client base includes uh, 75,000 and on a day-to-day -day basis uh, we try to optimize our software. Our geoinformation systems have been translated uh, into Russian, Spanish, English, so you can use it everywhere around the world. It is applied in defense, uh, disaster management, and other areas seen on this slide. And for some areas, we design dedicated features that only the members of that field of expertise require. In particular, a region geoportal if, is one of such examples, which is suited perfectly to address tasks within the smart city. The smart city technology appeared in response to rapid urbanization and the ensuing requirement a common management system that will include all city processes and uh, build people around them to ensure sustainable development of cities and uh, make for optimum use of their resources. If we look in general at the smart city model, there are four stages that can be identified. First is automated input from sensors. Second is data processing, again using uh, geoinformational systems or other systems, analytical systems. Third stage is visualization. And the fourth one is decision making. The region geoportal mentioned before is where we merge all our products with the ultimate goal to provide for current monitoring of the city and to supervise development activities, construction activities. At the heart of it all is the uh, panorama system which is installed on PCs of the staff of interested services to input data to create maps, to, to break down information thematically, to track to track traffic situations or transportation situations, do environmental monitoring, and a lot of other useful functions needed for a smart city. When all data has been prepared and input in the system, access to this database should be provided for all interested parties. For that, uh, we have a special product which allows uh, for differentiation of access rights, which is very useful. You are able to access only that data which is relevant for your agency. The smart city is not only automated system. This is a unifying system, bringing people together. People are able to share non-confidential data with the public. For that we have two products. One is GIS Web Server SE at the center of the slide, which prepares maps to be published uh, online. And GIS Web Service, which publishes the data on the website, 
as the number of users of mobile applications is increasing, we are also designing mobile applications uh, to make sure the public is aware and um, has access to the data wherever they are. And in conclusion, I'd like to point out that we also have a cloud storage for different spatial data. It's called Data Bank of Digital Maps and Remote Sensing Data, which can also include uh, the materials of engineering investigations. Now I would like to elaborate in depth on uh, some of the technologies. First thing I wanted to mention is the need to create a digital uh, city model to digitize uh, various objects, entities, structures, and a digital city model is the first step toward smart city management and um, informed decision making. To this end, we offer a digital model in the form of three maps. 3D is particularly useful uh, for targeting communications. 2D images do not uh, do justice uh, to power lines or uh, pipe works. They are shown as intersecting lines, and such a map becomes hard to read for civic authorities, since these lines are placed at different levels. 3D uh, version uh, shows you those uh, piping going above the ground or under the ground. Another task of the smart city is monitoring or tracking. This slide, for example, uh, shows in blue vehicles that clean the streets with the route and distances traveled. Then we have a section of the distance yet to be covered for public transportation. The, geo the region geoportal also use, uses automated uh, city maps. You can see it on this slide in red line. To model or simulate natural disasters or emergencies, uh, you can use a, a special emergen emergency forecasting complex. It is based on available scientific methods and techniques, and uh, techniques developed by Design Bureau Panorama to simulate fires, explosions, of uh, fuel elements, chemical contamination or radioactive contamination. As this slide shows, the model features several fields with uh, different levels of influencing the environment. It helps assess objects within the range of the this case radiation to determine uh, the casualties, uh, the extent of the calamity. As for available analytical methods, we provide interactive map that allows you to see images from different cartographic sources on one map. And I must, of course, mention thematic map, uh, buffer zones, uh, distance measurement, area measurement, and so on on the map. The region geoportal that I have just told you about is best suited to be implemented in the smart city model. We have looked into the algorithm of work and uh, Geoportal 
region takes care of each stage efficiently, starting from data gathering and all the way to informed decision making. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander. Your questions, please. Thank you very much, uh, Alexander. <coughs> I'd like to know uh, uh, what 3D model or 3D reality format could uh, uh, Paleroma support to, uh, for releasing, uh, for publishing? I understand it. What 3D models we can publish? What format? 3D format. Format. We support all accessible 3D formats. We implemented all of them gradually, and now we support all of them, all the formats. Truly, which one do you like the best? I would uh, rather speak about types of 3D models. One of them is vector map or point cloud. Point cloud is much more visual and representative. It's more fun. Olga? Can you please tell us in the next two years we'll have three or four hundred satellites with one meter resolution or better. What do you think? If we receive uh, data with such resolution every day for each city. Will it make any difference? I believe, of course, it will help us optimize all the managerial processes and to be more exact, it will help us with the observation and follow up on the passenger flows and uh, traffic flows and making decisions on the matter. Don't you think the uh, surveillance cameras are not enough? Surveillance cameras. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about. I think they're uh, mutually complementary systems. Thank you. Yes, Mina wants to ask a question. Geocenter Asia. I have one, e one very short question. If I'm not mistaken, you mentioned that uh, your uh, Panorama software is available not only, I mean, implemented not only in Russia, but then in, in, in some foreign countries. Can you tell us in which countries you already implemented the software and uh, experiences from there? Thanks. So the question was, uh, which countries have this software already, who you have experience of? And as far as so Smart City is concerned, now we work with Russia. Our software has been partially implemented in a number of regions, such as Baronish, Lipetsk, Tver region. As for, far as abroad is concerned, we haven't been. Uh, the, the question was about Panorama, not only. Ah, as far as Panorama is concerned, now it is used in Vietnam, Laos, Bulgaria, so far we don't work with Thai colleagues yet. Can I please ask the last question. You said that indeed for a smart city one needs smart solutions and I'm confident that panorama solutions are amongst such smart solutions but often in our cities we have a lot of problems with the quality of data. In your solutions for smart cities do you have any systems to for verification of the quality of data like in the cadastro systems when you cannot e introduce one set of data if they contradict another set of data. Do you have such approaches whether you verify the uh, compliance of, say, engineering data with cadastro system, with the uh, road system data, and mapping basis systems. At the moment, we have prepared a separate tool which allows us to 
visualize on one screen a number of cartography sources and the operator can visually assess the correctness of the original input data. If we speak about the mapping applications, we have a complex of verification of digital maps. As far as smart city is concerned at the moment, we can only visualize and inspect them. Okay, thank you very much, Alexander, once again.